Hey guys, welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to increase and decrease the player's speed using a mouse scroll. So, usually you will sprint by holding down left shift, but in some games you might scroll up on the mouse wheel or scroll down on the mouse wheel to increase and decrease the player's speed so that they can run. It just gives them a bit more control and a bit more flexibility over the overall speed that the player is running at, or moving at, sorry. So, I will show you what we're going to make today. So, you can see we're going to be walking around like this by default. And if I scroll up, we're going to be gradually increasing our speed until we get onto a full end sprint like this. And then scroll down, we'll just naturally go all the way back down like this as well. So as you can see, that works perfectly. You can get it to customize it for however you like. So you can increase this, you can decrease it. You can increase the base speed and increase the max speed. All of that good stuff. It's completely customizable for you. It's very quick and easy to set up as well. So let's get right into this. I'll delete my code and show you how I've done this. So our first and only step really is we're going to open up our character blueprint. So for me this is content, third person BP, blueprints, third person character, but for you this could be third, first, whatever you've named it. Once we're in here, we're going to find some empty space and this is where we want to be doing the code. But one thing we want to do before this is we want to create an action mapping. So what we could do is we could right click and we could get mouse wheel up, or what we can do is we can create an action mapping, which is a little bit more efficient, so let's do that instead. So we can go to edit project settings up in the top left up there. Once this is loaded, we're going to go down to input down here. And uh, don't worry about that, that's from a different tutorial. We're going to hit the plus action mapping here. So we're going to hit plus action mapping there. I'm going to rename this to be increase speed, whatever you like. And I'm going to set this to be mouse wheel up. I'm going to hit plus action mapping again. And I'm going to call this one decrease speed. And this is going to be mouse wheel down. So put these whichever way you want as well, but it just makes more sense to me that scroll the mouse wheel up increases the speed and scrolling it down decreases the speed. But if you want it the other way around, set it to be the other way around. And the benefit of doing action mappings like this is you can set this to be multiple keys, you can set it across different consoles, different platforms, and you can also set up key bindings. So once you've done that, you don't need to hit save or anything, you can just close that straight away. And then we're going to right click, and now if we search for that, so I named mine increase speed, you can see we have this action event here increase speed. So basically if we scroll our mouse wheel up or whatever we set, it's going to call this input action here. If we right click and then get decrease speed, we have that one there as well. So now we can use those instead of a mouse wheel up. But it's the same thing, this is just more efficient for us. Then after this, what we're going to do is we're going to drag and drop a reference to our character movement in here. So drag and drop that in there. Out of this, we're going to get max walk speed like that. And the max walk speed it's basically the player's current speed. So the player will always be at the max walk speed unless obviously you set it differently, but you're going to set their speed using this like so. So we want to get it so we can get the player's current speed. Out of this, we want to get a float plus a float like so, and then also a float minus a float. So we're going to be increasing and decreasing the player's speed using these. Now these values here is where you can customize this to how fast you want to increase and decrease it by. So I'm going to go up and down by 10, but you can set this to be whatever you want. So basically the player speed will increase and decrease by a value of 10 each time. But again, you can set this to be 15, 5, 20, it doesn't matter. You can customize this whatever you like to have it perfect for you. You can mess about with it to see what works best for you. Out of this top one here, so out of the plus, we're going to come out the return value. We're going to get a clamp float like so with that going in the value there. The minimum, you are going to set to the minimum speed you want to go to, so I want that to be 150. The maximum, I'm going to set to be 800. So these are the minimum and maximum speeds you want the player to go to. By default, you're going to be running at 600, but at the start of the video, you saw me running at 150 as I've changed it. So you can also select your character movement up in the top left here, search for max walk speed and see what it is for you. So as you can see, I changed it to 150, but like I say, default is 600. So again, get these to be perfect for you. These are just your minimum and maximum values. And what a clamp is doing is it basically means this value here will not exceed these. So it won't go above 800 and it won't go below 150. So if the player keeps on trying to increase it once it reaches this, it won't go over. If it's at 795, you add 10, that will go to 805. It wouldn't, it would stick to 800 as it's clamped. So what we're going to do is we're going to select that, hit Control C, Control V, and plug the value into the bottom one down there as well. So now we have a clamp on both of these. So it won't go above 800 and it won't go below 150. Then after this, all we want to do is we just want to simply set our max walk speed. So we're going to come out the character movement again. We're going to set max walk speed like so. 
So we've got it there, we're increasing or decreasing it, and now we're gonna set it again. So we can plug that set into the pressed of our input action increase speed up there, and obviously this is then increasing speed. So this max walk speed here, you see it's zero. We're gonna plug that into the return value of the clamp float there. So it's gonna take this value, which is anywhere between 150 and 800, depending on what the player has input, and then it's gonna set that to be the player's current speed. And we're gonna do the exact same down here. So we're then gonna duplicate this set max walk speed, plugging that into the pressed of the input action decrease speed. The target now we need to connect into the character movement up there. And the max walk speed again is gonna be that return value. And this is the code done, it's very simple like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select it, hit C to comment it, and I'm just gonna name this increase and decrease player speed on mouse wheel, like so. And again, what this is gonna do is when the player scrolls the mouse wheel up, it's gonna get the current speed, add 10 to it, and it's gonna clamp it between 150 and 800 and set that to be the current speed. And when the player mouse wheel scrolls down, it's gonna take 10 off the current speed, clamp it between 150 and 800 and set that to be the max walk speed. So again, these values here are how much you want it to increase and decrease by, and these values here are how fast you want the player to go. So 150 is the minimum, that's how slow they're gonna go. 800 is the maximum, how fast they're gonna go. So again, customize all of this perfectly for you. So again, that should be it. So now if I compile and save, and then close this, we can hit play to test it out. So you can see I'm walking around perfectly like this. We have this walking animation here. If I scroll my mouse wheel up, we're gonna be increasing our speed, and now we're in a full on sprint like this. And if I keep increasing, we're not gonna go any faster as it is clamped at 800. If I now scroll down, we're gonna be slowly and gradually slowing down like so. And now we're at 150. If I keep scrolling down, we're not gonna go any slower. And now just to show you that again, I'm gonna add some print strings so you can actually see how fast we're going. So if I open this up again, what we do is I'm just gonna right click, get a print string. You don't need to do this. This is just so I can show you the actual numerical values. I'll plug that in there. I'll duplicate that and plug this down here. So I'm gonna delete this after, and this is just for the developers to use and to see. It's mainly used for debugging, but I also like to use it to show you what's going on in the code. Now if I do this again, you can see that as I'm moving up, our value is going up like that, and that's the player's speed. It gets to 800, and it's not gonna go above that. If I then go back down, it's gonna go all the way back down to 150, and it won't go below that like so. Even though I'm still trying to, it's not going to because it's clamped like that. So this works perfectly. So I think that'll be it for this video, as we've done everything we've wanted to do. We've created a system in which we can increase and decrease the player's speed using mouse scroll wheel up and down, and we have it clamped at certain values so it won't go below a, ma a minimum speed and above a maximum speed. So thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful, and if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.